Hey guys, time for another Minecraft episode, and uh, this time around I'm going to focus on the tutorial bit of my Minecraft series. And uh, with the latest patch, a lot of new items have been implemented and other neat things, so I'm going to do go right for it here. And we can start off by, let's see here, let's get some redstone. We're going to make a note block, which basically is built like this. Uh, you take wooden planks and uh, that's how you get a chest uh, but if you put a uh, redstone dust a redstone in the middle here you get a note block and basically what this is it's uh, it plays a note when used uh, depending on what uh, is underneath it it produces different sounds so if you put it on stone it's uh, one sound wood is another sound etc etc uh, so here we go here's a note block it looks like a jukebox kind of but uh, with the same uh, same skin on all sides of the note block and uh, as you can see when I hit it there's the, a note comes up so yeah that's basically it uh, with the note block uh, depending on what type of ground it sits on etc you can connect it with redstone dusts and uh, redstone torches and levers and all kinds of stuff and I guess you technically could make a music machine out of it that plays whatever you want it to play uh, but I'm not gonna do that uh, for at least not this episode I'm not sure I'm gonna do that ever I'm not so interested in it but it's a cool addition so I thought that you guys should see it at least uh, but let's see here what else did he uh, implement oh yeah wool dice here we go dice and wool as you can see, I got light gray wool here, gray wool, black wool, and normal wool. And here I have uh, cactus green. So basically, if I take this cactus green and wool, and I can use my normal crafting inventory here, I think. You put the wool here, and also whatever you want to dye it with, and you get a green wool with the cactus green wool. Uh, cactus dye. So uh, that's basically how you uh, color uh, wool and there's a lot of different colors as you can see here I got uh, dandelion yellow, rose red and bone meal. And how do you get bones? Well now that he also put in so that uh, skeletons now drop bones uh, along with the arrows that they uh, usually drop. Uh, and when you take the bone and uh, use it in uh, crafting you get the bone meal out of the bones. And as far as I'm aware, I've never tried it, I haven't tried it myself yet, but uh, bone meal can also be used to make things instantly grow, like uh, saplings and wheat and other types of plants to instantly grow. I guess it works on cactuses maybe, etc. I'll have to try that, I can show it in the next episode, I'm not going to do that this time. But yeah, you can also mix uh, different type of dyes to get uh, different shades. So if I take uh, rose red here and yellow, I get orange. So that's one type of uh, mix you can do to get a different color. Uh, I also think you can take uh, roses and bone meal, I think, to make it pink. No, that's not it. What about rose red and bone meal? Okay, there we go. There we got pink dye. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of mixtures that you can do. I think it's up to around 15 colors now, including the normal wool white or whatever you call it. Uh, but yeah, how to get uh, rose red out of roses, basically you put roses in the crafting grid and you get rose red out of it. Uh, cactuses, uh, ink sacks, I'm gonna, that's uh, the black uh, ink, uh, the black dye, I'm going to show you that uh, soon in this episode. Uh, cactuses though, you have to put in your ovens. And uh, you'll get the uh, cactus green dye in a second here when the furnace is done there we go cactus green so that's how you get the green out of cactuses uh, let's put everything back into my storage here no not that one this one and yeah that's basically it with the dice so now you can build all kinds of different color variations on your buildings etc uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna use much of it. I'll try to make maybe, I don't know, carpets and so on and such. Uh, but it is wool, so it's extremely flammable. It burns up in a second or two, which is not super nice. 
Let's see, my clock says that it's daytime outside, so let's go outside and I'll show you what else he implemented. We're gonna go down to the beach here, <coughs> to my bridge, and jump in the water. Oh, I got a bit of frame rate lag there, but uh, it's gone again. Seems good. So yeah, he also implemented, uh, he's been, he, he was talking about it in an earlier interview about adding, you know, maybe sharks or something. So now he added uh, a water type mob. Problem is, it's extremely dark down there, so I'm not sure you're gonna see much on the video. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump down into the water here. And I can see them myself. There's two of them swimming here right in front of me. Two octopuses, two squids, swimming around. And I'm gonna drown, I gotta get some air. Get up. Ooh, that was close. Okay, let's get down again. So, here's a squid swimming around into the side of the bottom. I'm not sure why. But yeah, if you if you hit them or kill the squids, they drop ink sacs. There we go, there. one of them died. Shit, I gotta get up to the surface. Ouch. 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 Stop it. Okay. So yeah, that's the water mod he, mob he added. And that's how you get uh, the dive to make black. And if you mix black and bone meal, I think you get uh, gray wool. And if you mix, yeah, you can get even get light gray. I think uh, you can also use the dyes to actually dye the sheep that spawn. And sheep now spawn in the four different variations. I think uh, normal wool, the white one, uh, light gray, gray, and black. So yeah, there's black sheep sometimes. Here's a sheep. Here's a two sheep actually. It's a bunch of sheep. Uh, they're all white though, which is kind of boring. But yeah, I think basically I can use this ink stack for him. Yep, here we go, black sheep. So you're the black sheep, huh? In the litter. Yeah. I don't know how that's feeling. But yeah, so uh, sheep now randomly spawn with different uh, color variations. Obviously, they don't spawn with red and yellow and green sheep, but uh, all the dif uh, differentiations between white and black. So. White, grey, grey, black. Having a good time in the moat? No? Well, tough luck! Anyways, uh, so that was the sheep and wool dice and the water mob. He also added uh, new tree types. I think there's uh, birch trees, uh, which have like, the trunks are more whitish with black spots on it. He also added pine and something else, I think. I haven't seen any of the trees myself. I saw a picture of uh, one of the birch trees and they look really cool. Problem is, uh, since I've ra generated a lot of my world already by traveling and, and doing my adventures, uh, they're not gonna show up unless it's uh, undiscovered territory, which I haven't been in yet. So that's that. Let's see here. Uh, he also changed the... The reeds, they are now sugar canes. They still produce uh, paper if you do as you did before, but they're actually called sugar canes. If you check here, you see it says sugar canes. Uh, with sugar canes, you can make sugar. Just putting one in the crafting grid, no pattern or anything, you get sugar out of the sugar canes. And what can you make with sugar? Well, we'll get to that soon. He also added another block. Doop, doop, doop. Enough of that. Uh, a dispenser, as you can see here. Uh, I'll show you the crafting pattern for that. Let's see. It's stone, 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 stone. Ah, oh, crap. I need a. Uh, I need my redstone. Here we go. And a bow. Okay, I got a bow. So stone, stone, around. One redstone in the bottom and a bow in the middle. Now you get a dispenser. I already got one built though, so I'm not gonna build another one. I'm just gonna cancel that and get my stuff back. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, what the dispenser does is this. You put it out somewhere. There we go, here's a dispenser. And when you click it, you get an inventory space of three times three tile, tiles here. And you can put stuff in it, uh, like whatever, I think. But if you specifically put what I'm gonna use them for, I think, uh, if you put arrows in them, and then you have to connect it with redstone, Let's do like this. I don't think, no, since if you right click it, you go to the inventory. So there's no way in, in using it without using redstone. So let's use, just take a redstone torch. You can use a lever or whatever, or a button or a pressure plate to make it do stuff also. 
but yeah I'm gonna try let's see so basically what this is it dispenses the items when it gets activated so it just shot an arrow on my note block here as you can see there's the arrow in my note block so basically you can make some nice uh, you know Indiana Jones traps in your cave systems and whatnot and uh, you know with pressure plates or whatever which I'm gonna use them for that's the plan at least I'm just gonna figure out where to use it and how to trick mobs into that death zone uh, but yeah that's a dispenser and you can put any kinds of items and it spits them out basically uh, let's see here what else did he add oh yeah he added more block types uh, let's grab some sand here and use this crafting bench and if you put four sand you get sandstone which is a building material uh, I got some completed here already I got one block here I got 64 more each actually and here we go and you can take a look at it as you can see it has uh, yeah, a, s a slightly different pattern to uh, just normal sand, and it's not. Uh, it doesn't count as sand or dirt. It actually, it's more like stone. So I don't think gravity affects it. No, it doesn't. So now you can make, uh, you know, easily make sand roofs, etc. If you want to do that, I've been thinking about making some form of an oasis room with sandstone with waterfalls and cactuses and stuff we'll see if we can do that sometimes but that's the sandstone new block type which is pretty nifty uh, we can go downstairs here I've added two new rooms one of them is just unfinished uh, this right one I've just dug it out a bit I was thinking about putting the oasis in here somehow maybe making a staircase downwards so the room gets a little bit bigger and heighten the roof uh, we'll see what happens. If you have any ideas, you can post in the comment section. But yeah, let's go here. This is uh, Cafe Fatality. This is my cafe. A new room that I added. Uh, added uh, shares after I got uh, I got tipped off by one of my viewers in the comment section how to make shares. I slightly remember seeing them somewhere before and then forgot about it. But now I got reminded of how to do them, so I made a share, so to speak. It's basically one wooden step and two signs on the sides. And that's a shear. And there's a sofa, a longer version. And this is the coffee table or something, I'm not sure. Uh, oven walls. I thought about making a bakery first. But yeah, here's one of the new things he added, cake. So what does cake do? Well, you place it out and whenever you use it, uh, a slice goes off and I heal. You see, I got uh, one and a half hearts back. I think total, if you eat the whole cake, you get 9 hearts back. So yeah, now I, I'm at full health and the cake is slightly eaten. But yeah, uh, pretty nice painting here also, I must say. I like it. But how do you make a cake? Well, as you can see, this crafting pattern here, this is exactly how you make a cake. You put 3 wheat in the bottom, sugar on the middle left and middle right, an egg in the middle and three buckets of milk and how do you get a bucket of milk I think I've showed you in the previous episodes but for you people that haven't watched my whole series you go milk a cow take a bucket put it in your uh, use inventory space there and then you right click a cow and you get milk so let's uh, make a cake I'm gonna take all the crafting stuff I need for this I uh, use the inventory or the crafting bench here. So three milk on top, egg in middle, wheat in bottom, and sugar left and right. And we got a cake, cake, and you get the buckets back, which is awesome. Uh, before uh, you you can also use lava as uh, fuel in your furnaces, but the buckets get used up. So I've never done that, even though the the use for lava compared to coal is way better. Uh, maybe he can fix that now since obviously he fixed this so that you get the buckets back when making a cake so that's the cake and my cafe uh, he also added a renewable uh, furnace material uh, charcoal which you get by burning let's see here uh, wooden log unprocessed not planks and you just put it in the furnace <coughs> and it's going to create charcoal it looks exactly the same as normal coal I think it has the same, you know, uses. 
basically use them as fuel but yeah you get charcoal this way you burn wooden logs so uh, you get a renewable type since you can just grow grow new trees everywhere uh, you can have an infinite amount of uh, fuel for your furnaces which is nice um, it's not like I'm running out of coal but uh, it's always a nice addition sometime in the future I'm gonna run out of coal so let's put the charcoal back there uh, I have so much stuff on me let's get rid of some stuff I don't want this on me I can put the dispenser back in here my arrows goes there uh, I should have left the sugar down in the cafe but whatever I don't need a wooden log seed or go away okay there we go so that's charcoal he also uh, he also changed the tools the tool durabilities have all been increased uh, which is very very nice and I've noticed you know a, quite a difference actually my shovels and uh, stone pickaxes last much longer now at least that's what it feels like I have an axe yep let's see if I can, I can get the note block back yep you can there we go and dispenser is gone and I think that's basically it I've covered most of it uh, not exactly every single die you can make uh, you can figure that out yourself or check out the forums or just check out Minecraft's uh, own web page or the wiki there it probably has all the crafting uh, recipes there uh, I think I covered most of it uh, what else I've only got one more thing to show you guys uh, except for the cafe I also completed my tunnel between uh, well my base here and the second tower that I built uh, I used uh, water walls it's just a small tunnel compared to the other one which is way bigger uh, lava on the floor here all the way giving natural lights even though I have the torches I usually just put the torches in I don't think I need them but I put them in anyways uh, so water walls on the tunnel and it leads me to the second tower in a more protected way I'm slowly slowly expanding my area here everywhere so I can travel at night uh, all the time and there's a skeleton on top of the tree just looking at me you bastard <laughs> oh that was close I won stop shooting at me ah fall down yeah yeah he missed me again oh he died oh there's a bone up there there's a cow it's up cow what was that why are all you skeletons hanging out in the uh, treetops? Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. No. Go around the corner. No. What? Where do you go? No. Are you in here? Yeah, there he is. He's stuck in my waterfall. Ha ha. Yeah, he's gonna leave him there. But yeah, he. Oh, he's drowning. That's a nice, uh, nice addition. It's also a mob trap, apparently. But he died. Let's go and get the bones from him. See, he dropped two bones down there. I'm gonna get that. Uh, and get up. And get back into the tunnel. So that's uh, enough for this episode. Just a short uh, tutorial part. And uh, next time, hopefully, I'll have more stuff to show you. Or are we gonna venture? I'm not sure yet. We'll see what happens. Catch you guys next time.